So, everyone, so today's video, we're going to be talking about this dude named Mia from Japan, who, out of basically nowhere, let me say the other volume, who out of basically nowhere, um, came and won a Japanese major over the likes of Shutan, Abadango, Ken, Protobanham, and more top players in Japan at Kagaribi, I think it was eight. Now, the story of this dude is interesting because he is, uh, this is his sixth offline event ever, as far as I know, and he is rated in the 2500s on the Smash Ladder in Japan, which is a very good, like, ranking system, because online Japan, when you're playing, like, people in Tokyo, from Tokyo, it's pretty good, right? Koei came from there, was number one there, and they just whooped Japan's butt offline, right? So, Mia seems to be a pretty similar case. He might actually be the best game watch, who knows? After these dubs in this tournament, like, this is the first time Game Watch has taken a major in Smash Ultimate, as far as I know. Um, granted, you know, it's Japanese top talent, not like the world top talent, but still, that is an impressive feat. So we're just gonna watch him break down, no, what makes this guy so goddamn nasty at this game? Fight shoot on, so, this match, in my opinion, is actually pretty even. Um, if anyone's favorite is probably Olimar's, could be Game Watch's, though. Game Watch is able to reflect Pippin very well. Um, and but all of them are like kind of fight game watch with hitboxes. This is very interesting. Ooh, we have catches the ledge drop back air. Two purples from Shutan. And obviously, I have no, no Shutan is literally like top five player in Japan, pretty much for the entirety of Ultimate's lifespan. Yeah, back air Shutan, throwing those purples and spawn double jumping. Go for a deep edge guard. Really chasing aggressively. Just, there's no stop to pressure, and it holds forward, gets to fair, and on, shoot on, do whatever. Yep, the back air covers low recovery. I'm actually surprised shoot on didn't, like, up your ledge as soon as he saw me up himself in, like, a position with the aerial, but whatever. Yep, using the downbeat. Try to flick Pikmin. Just make it so shoot on can't throw mindlessly. It doesn't necessarily force the approach from Olimar, but it means camping isn't going to do anything. So, it's an awkward position to be in as Olimar. Which the platform rear dodge. Oh, yeah, the situation doesn't like it. Nair killed Pikmin. Yep, and just. So, okay, I want to purchase uh, down B. Try to think he up B in that position and somehow traded. Because I don't think up B in the air is from a startup on mid-spillity. Dash sex the landing. Sis of the beacon. You see already, like. He's very aggressive, right? Like, he goes from, like, super passive play with, like, this to just hold forward. Full hop through the bomb. Shoot them, runs into it. Hold forward, rub shield. Gets hit for it, though. Ooh, it gets back here, fills up, he's in lazy drift. Ah, oh, shoot down burns his purple though, it's not good. And now he's not, he has one red left, that's it. This red is not that threatening either. Oh, no Pikmin left. Shoot down sideways, pluck Pikmin up, up air, up air. Platform, pressure him. Shoot down's in a rebit spot, and the bomb pressure. Ooh, yep. Bomb, unblock, sets up another bomb. Calls out the roll. That was a really good read. Recognizing Shutan was under pressure, didn't want to hold shield, probably get potentially grabbed. So Shutan's like, oh, I'm just gonna roll. And no. Oh. Really, the like the, the quick pressure from Mia is really like interesting. Lee just runs up and dash attacks. Gets the parry. Holding forward with these jump ins. Little hold forward with this jump in into up B to punish any button Shutan presses. Oh, downer is at disadvantage trades with all of them as aerial. Fine shift game watch. He reflects pick with bucket and just goes in. Runs forward up air. He really is just like holding for an area as a chance and making sure shoot up never has a chance to like reestablish neutral. And Mia's definitely pushing it really hard to a point and get punished for it. But it's working out. Yep, downer is at disadvantage. Game watch stuff right there for sure. This jump gets called out. Shoot down, you're doing a very good job here of pressure. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think he wants to do that. That was, that was a pretty bad option um, you went for right there. Got him killed, after all. Oh, the up smash late hit. Leads to a small combo. You're saying of the bomb. Did I have to go for the forward to edge guard already? Interesting. Do these parries. He's got like a few parries so far, and they are nice. Uh, oh. Uh, you guys can't see it, but she's on his camera. Stop working in the VOD. That's why I might go up game stopping it. Oh, look for a killer ready. Down B, move forward. Doesn't all these full ups approach. 
I think he's doing it just because like shoes doesn't have a short up height to like empty air. But the full up's a little bit high to cover. And pretty committed will do that. Oh yeah, punishes the bucket though. Like, because Mia loves using these buckets. Ooh, bump grab. Doesn't do much with that though, it's whatever. Try to challenge my uh my shooting going high. Really just holding forward. This game is basically over, especially now, so you may as well just hold forward, see what happens. And if you get it, cool. If not, and yeah, next game. Oh my. Oh, he's still alive. The game watch is probably broken. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a free punch. That was like a with forward smash. And they took his own damage from uh, the hammer. That's funny. Oh, then he's just fishing for something with the hammer. And so, like, one hand, when you download the game watch, you can fish for the hammer, hope works. But also, if you get his game watch, you can just, you know, get the combos anyway. You don't have to fish for like a hammer to do a lot of damage or kill. This is what I've gathered from talking to uh, Meister about this a while ago. But I think everyone game watch player, even though statistically it's better to just not hammer, just does it. Catch the landing. Uh, up B's below and then drifts up air. Oh, I guess Coach trying to full up. Probably trying to catch, maybe shoot down, jump out of the corner. Like, catch, shoot down, panicking, but shoot down does not there. Yeah, Mia really tries to rely a lot on their opponents, like, panicking, if you notice. Like, he just, oh my god, he run up, shield, roll forward up B. He uses up he's so aggressively. Dash like the landing. Pushes a lot of the dash attack. It's up smash for you. That's a little bit of a scary thing to do right there. Not gonna lie, bro. I, I think it's super aggressive play style. Maybe getting punished a little bit now. The one... I really like this, actually. This is cool. Does this... The one piece of bacon here to cover these options. Fall through platform cover more options. And then the air dodge forward. It was such a weird option, but it doesn't get punished. Oh, uh, that gets punished. It definitely doesn't call it low recovery. His speed up again, ledge is stopping shoot off from like potentially setting up uh, any sort of ledge traps, really. Or like follow ups after missing any sort of ledge traps. Dude, these up edge guards, what? The downer edge guard, oh my god, dude. He's not stopping with this. The up air. Oh, uh, no, Pikmin's. Oh. The dash tag and the run for up smash. What? Who does that? Bro. Relentless, I say. You're about to shield. Watch out for the blue Pikmin. Yep, he is. He's jumping right now. He's trying to bait out the grabs. Yep, that's a punish. He just takes these up airs very well. Up airs look where Olimar wants to drift and just holds forward and sit for it. He really doesn't let Olimar have a chance to position for aerials. Like, he runs forward and kind of risks getting hit, basically, and Olimar's landing. Because run first shield such a strong option to deal with it. Oh my god, dude, he's got so with so many times with like all of Margo's ledge, and he like dash tags or just something weird from off stage, like land on stage dash tag, and it's worked. Let's go get forward smash on the heel. Oh my god, the yellow forward smash taking his stock though. He does have a very consistent ledge timing because he's trying to constantly put pressure. <gasps> oh, kill the Pikmin left him so leg. He could take so much more damage if she's not a little more aware of what's going on. Oh, the full up gets punished because the pig leg. <sighs> yeah, legit. Hit shoot on shield. He missed the run for an aerial. Left him off stage. Just try to do double jump on stage aerial. It's actually insanely funny how like much he just holds forward. Because he watched like Meister playing. Meister does aggressive things. But my sister's more willing to like, you know, back off in bad spots and like wait out his openings. No, Mio's is like, go, 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 go. At all points, things must happen, period. Okay, the Nair, he catches. Shoots on the whatever. The forward tilt catches regularly. Yep. He's just forward tilt very liberally. Like, he doesn't use like bacon in the setup or anything, he just does it. Which my sister does sometimes, but I think. Mia is one of the dude who just forward to a lot more. It's working really well. Because it is a lingering kill move. With a nice hitbox. He's burrow back because it's so scary. Oh, I can just do that put himself in the corner. I think it's up there anyway. Oh, I should have gonna go to him. Oh, I just thought it was at disadvantage. Does he care? He doesn't care. He just holds forward with dash attacks. I wonder if he switches it up or if he's just gonna like try to do that and mix up like maybe the dash grabs now from those situations. FD versus Olimar's game watch. How does he win this one? What? That's kind of wild. Mm -hmm. Up B, yep. 
make sure also when you can to keep shoot down the corner. But like, see those up airs, he just started in the center stage of the up airs. So that way, shoot down his land in the corner, which makes life a lot harder. Do that coverage. Oof, gets back here though, right there. The full forward air. Baiting all of Mars aerials. Trying to find a way to move forward out of the corner. He's not being as aggressive as before, I think, because he's. He is down once you ever shoot on. You can't be going crazy versus him. That's just not how it works. Ooh, these dash attacks. Full up in. Oh, that, it just does There's no fear. He goes like these options that shouldn't work. Because if it's one of them stinks, it doesn't work it because who expects a game I should do Tomwalk dash attack when they're potentially at rage prop up smash kill percents. Uh, shield from smash. Oh my god. Dude, this stock. Dude, what was this stock? What did I just see? Shoot down respawns. He just does full hop air to air to catch him. Catch the land in there. Actually, doesn't. But runs up fairs and interrupts his whatever with like the first part fair before the bomb comes out. Shoot down up ease and he dies? I don't know exactly how Shoot down messed up. He obviously ran out of Pikmin like guess. But that's still surprising. Oh, oh, this near pressure. Oh, up there. And that is game's basically over, yeah. Dash, I got shield. Catch the rising aerial. Yeah, yeah, he's just waiting for the up smash or something because he knows all of them are down, right? That's a purple right next to you. Catches the land, the dash attack. Really, his dash attack usage is immaculate. It looks so, like, scrubby, honestly. But it works very well. Oh, my God. He did not all get away with like that stuff, like jump up against stage. He's just catching the landing constantly. Not game five. PS2 it is. And Shudan really, uh, Shudan's getting caught out a lot for kind of like lingering in the air and falling in predictable spots. And I think it's the big thing is that Mia's not letting Shudan get away with like these lazy landings. But Shudan hasn't recognized he needs to mix up his landings a lot more. Maybe land without swinging. Maybe like really use Olimar's like upbeat drift to go places. Maybe just go to ledge more even. Oh, yeah, so you punished. <laughs> yep, the eye frames on the up beat still less enough to punch through that aerial. God damn. He, like, also. I want to see real quick, but I think. I think Game Watch has eye frames in the up beat even after the initial part of it. I could be wrong. If that's not the case, he's just using the up beat hitbox so well. Frames 3 to 13. So that would be something like. Yeah. Game Watch is invincible all the way up to here, so you can, like, and I also might do this. Mice never, like, uses, at least as far as I can tell, he never, like, really abuses the iframes keeping him invincible up to here to, like, challenge aerials the way Mia does, which is really smart. God, I just said, Game Watch use up being it's smart, yes. I unironically just said that. Uh, think about me what you will. Okay. Ooh, is he gonna get punished here? Catch a landing? No, he doesn't put himself in the corner. It's forward here, not a big deal. He's also used less down be throughout the set. Um, I think he just realized that, like, shoot down was punched and the down is enough. Oh. Holds over there, he gets killed. He gets purple back there. He gets purple back from all of them. It's a funny move. Dude, if that was my set, I would immediately be like, run up down smash. I've actually noticed, I haven't seen. Me use a single down smash this entire set, and his up smash usage is like more in established pressure positions than just kind of throwing it out there. Okay, I'm, I guess it's stuttery. The VOD must be messing up right now. The back air, trade with Pigment. Oh, he's the platform to pop the like the forward explosion early. How's he gonna get kill here? Oh, the gap attack kills the Pikmin. Oh, the grab! Yep, yep. Because he knows the truth doesn't like press the button because there's no Pikmin left. Mm. Yep, it holds ledge, covers Olimar being with the back air really smart. Hard for Olimar to get around that situation, honestly, if you do it right. If you try to bail the way Pikmin toss, so you see, as soon as he bails the way Pikmin toss, he goes in. And she was like, oh shoot, why's on me? I gotta roll. And now he's at 57%. He was basically even at this point. You have the space nair, the full up nair. Dude, these full ups are actually really weird because, like, it's hard to hit him though. 
Because you can watch full up and you're just like obnoxious. Very volatile, so good. Yeah, he shoot down got scared to move out of the corner without B, so he's always up against the corner. Which means Mia, even though he doesn't get his big landing punches anymore, he's keeping shoot down in these bad spots. Yeah, forward to the up B. Who does that? Dash doesn't catch anything, he's trying. Forward and pressure the dash deck! <laughs> he just does it! Pull forward air, pull forward air, dash attack the landing. Back air is the roll. And you know what happened here? So you use the hand hitbox when you do forward air. Hitbox of like the hand interrupts the opponent pressing a button. And a lot of times when it hits you, it like messes up your next button. It's really annoying. And there... I don't think combo in the bomb, but I think it was so fast to shoot down there and recognize he had to like mash whistle to get out of the situation. Oh my god. This stock starts immediately. Just the, the Nair catches, shoots off guard, just trying to jump and probably land like a purple aerial. Oh my god. It's so much damage. Smash, yep, yep, that was smash. Doesn't catch with like the, the sweet spot, the berry, but still works out. <sighs> okay, dash deck, and it, it crosses up. And like the late hit called the Pikmin up, smash that shield. I, I hate that BS in the matchup. Yep, the purple's not available. He uses the now being moved forward and kind of give him an opening. Oh, she's not scared of the ground approach of pivot grabs, but like, the uh, Mia just jumped in. Look at this, look at this pressure. Let catch the landing. No, Pikmin left. Shoot down scared, so he's gonna shield. And Mia says a few times where a shoot down is a Pikmin left. Uh, Mia like goes for the grabs because he knows shoot down trying to shield because he can't do many attacks without Pikmin. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're the last hit baking caught. Shoot down. Shoot down is so ready for Furrow to like back here. Which granted, probably would have shoot combo and killed. But he just mashes air dodge and dies. So uh, up smash range. I think Mia basically hit. Every single up smash she went for this set. Which is insane. I'm used to shoot down, you miss a uh, shoot down. Uh, Meister missed most of them, but it's fine. It's hard to punish. But no, Mia, he uses it in really good spots. And like, he's not using it that much because he wants to do other things like pressuring like an air to air, catching a landing more. And he's like more proactively like pushing advantage state. As opposed to Meister, more like covering space and calling out the opponent's defensive options. So yeah. Mia, um, this was not Grand Finals, of course. Grand Finals, he fights Abadango Meta Knight, but I want to show off him for Shutan because, you know, we are seeing Shutan Alamark put in work. Now, Abadango Meta Knight, that's his own video, probably, because he put in some goddamn work. Two. Yeah, because I don't even think of Mia's game watch. It looks very good. Oh, of course, it just beat Shutan. And, like, to be honest, I think Shutan would beat Meister's game watch. Could be wrong. But hopefully, see that sometime soon. You guys, guys, peace out. Hope you enjoyed the video.